That's the problem. I, I, I push, I don't tap. All right. Let's call the meeting to order the Historic Preservation Commission. Um, we will begin with the, I do not have a copy of the minutes in front of me from the previous meeting. I have not received one, so. Uh, The June meeting, we don't we don't have the minutes in front of us of the Oops. June meeting. They're right here. Good to me. <laughs> they look good to me because I can't see them. <laughs> Do we have anybody online with Teams, or is it just look just you? It's just us. But they have the option to join at any time. I know it. I really cannot see those. So um, if anyone else can read them, I'd like. So far, so good. You've got a full screen. You could probably make it big enough. Or, Craig, you could read them right off your. You want to just read them off your sure. computer? OK, here we go. So. President Mary Beth Chandler, Jim Goldsmith, Stephen Merck, Jane Hobbs, Rich Gilpin, Stuart Bowling, and Patty Mudd. Uh, town staff, Craig Howard, Town Clerk, Kelly Phipps, Legislative Services um, called to order. Chairman Chandler called the meeting to order at 1 p.m. Uh, approval of minutes, approved of March 25th, 2022 minutes, moved by Jim Goldsmith, uh, seconded by Stuart Bowling. Motion was accepted. And they were uh, accepted, passed unanimously. Um, matters of discussion: 206 and 208 Washington Avenue, Kathleen Say, Charles County Preservation Commission. Um, a joint meeting uh, between Charles County Historical Preservation and the Plata Historical Preservation Commission was discussed by Ms. Say, and that she would take it to the CCHP and follow up. Purchase uh, item 32 purchase of the bronze plaque for Price Church for discussion and, and consideration. Commission was informed that the order, uh, order would be placed. Um, uh, then there was a discussion 33 bronze plaque for the original county jail on Washington Avenue. Consideration discussion was had to provide a bronze plaque as soon as uh, verbiage could be worked out. Purchase of uh, item 34, purchase of mannequin for introduction and consideration. Several avenues were discussed for obtaining mannequin. Four matters of information. Four one update on ordinance change to town code. Uh, Craig Howard Legislative Services. Mr. Howard gave the commission an update on the status of their code changes. The commission was informed that the council had approved the ordinance on April 26th and would be effective as of May 11th, 2022. Item 4.2, sound system for the caboose. Uh, progress on the sound system was discussed. 4.3, air conditioning on the caboose. The idea of air conditioning in the caboose was, dis was considered. 4.4, exhibits for the caboose. 4.5, additional houses for model train display. 4.6, caboose uh, exterior lettering. The question as to what lettering should be on the caboose, whether uh, the original US Navy lettering or something else. Item 4.7, photograph of Navy caboose and adjoining letter uh, restoration. Chairwoman Chandler uh, proposed that the photograph and letter be restored and displayed either in the caboose or somewhere in the museum. 4.8, social media monitoring. The commission did not decide who would monitor their social media accounts other than legislative services. Uh, item uh, section five, future agenda items. There weren't any and section six adjournment. Thank you. Do you have uh, um, any, any changes, additions, corrections to the minutes? Okay, all in favor of accepting them? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Uh, also, could you send me an uh, email copy of those minutes so I have them for my records? Sure, if you go to the website, they're attached to the agenda. 
Thank I'll you. send you a copy. Thank you very much. If they're already attached to the agenda, I am because I need them. You're catching on. Uh, now I'm now I'm showing my lack of technical skills. <laughs> All right, we're going to move away from matters of discussion, uh, the proper order they're in, so that we can go to the La Plata Artworks group who are here with us today regarding the firehouse alley. Uh, Shannon Wang, everybody doesn't know Shannon. Um, hey everybody, so uh, I have a presentation that I'm actually going to be doing to um, in front of town council on Tuesday. Um, and how this project kind of started was uh, we want to do creative uh, crosswalks around town, like painted crosswalks in the town. And um, I submitted uh, that idea to town council. They were excited about it, interested about it, but wanted um, more research, more information on the different materials that can be used or should be used for this type of project. And uh, when me and Kelly get together, then we start thinking about all the things. And um, one of the uh, safe places to test this crosswalk kind of idea and the materials that we plan to use um, in town would be the um, firehouse uh, alley. Um, and so we're thinking about um, painting uh, a game on the road in front of the firehouse, um, which Kelly uh, thought about the it's uh, hoses and ladders instead of shoots and ladders. Uh, so it would all be like fire related, um, even the um, the design like in the blank spaces could have the seals of fallen uh, firefighters in the area. That uh, design is to be determined. We don't have the exact layout of it, but a few um, places down. Again, this is for the town council too, so some of this doesn't um, you know, really pertain too much to, to you guys, um, but it would be right in front of the, the front uh, doors. I think it's maybe one more down, Craig. Yes, it kind of gives you a little bit of an idea. So that's looking at the roof um, and the right right hand side is uh, where the garden is underneath it and the, the truck is inside that part. And the left uh, gray area is the two garage bays. So we thought we could test uh, some different materials, see how it does. It's not a super high traffic area. Um, but it does get driven on quite a bit with pizza hotline and um, I know I cut through that way sometimes as well so and it's uh, would just draw another fun spot another destination spot in town um, and so kind of in addition to that we got Kelly got the town got ARPA money um, and some of that money is going towards um, updating the firehouse museum do you want to talk about that so I don't monopolize the sure. whole conversation? Yeah, no, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, so um, much to my surprise, I was uh, tasked with um, allocating $75,000 to renovating the uh, Firehouse Museum in some way. All it was is $75,000 needs to go to the Firehouse Museum. How do you spend $75,000? Really fast. Mm -hmm. um, but keeping in mind that it eventually, one day, we're hoping that the Firehouse Museum will actually be an operating museum, we were thinking um to paint the outside at the very least and if there's enough remaining to paint the inside so it looks a, more of a coordinated museum type effort um and this was our idea of um renovating it and making an eye-catching spot a place that, that people want to be want to go see that um we tossed around some ideas as far as designs and what to what kind of mural to put on the side of the building um, but uh, I don't know who can argue with the Maryland flag. I know Craig can't. He's wearing it. So. <laughs> um, and in terms of a traditional firehouse color, we thought, well, red. And obviously the uh, the palette we were using was the engine, the fire engine inside. So we took a look at those colors, uh, the black, red, the gold trim. Um, the, uh, the writing would be slightly different than that, be more in line with what's on the fire engine. So... Um, reflecting the, the 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 legacy of firefighters, um, but also activating this this area. And that does have kind of like a badge or a seal of um, the county firefighter like symbol inside that. I don't know if you can see it. 
I, and I think it's I think it's Laplatus. It's it number says, one. I can, I can see number one. Copy yeah, number one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's not just the. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I like this every more every time we see it. Mm -hmm. All gray. I think it was just the block. Yeah. Blue, I don't know where the blue came from. The blue came because it was cheap. <laughs> <laughs> See, and that was the story we had was that was what was cheap and available. And it's honestly, it's falling apart. There's it's peeling off. Oh, There's layers yeah. of concrete oh, where they yeah. patched it. It's coming off. I remember when it was painted, dad wasn't real thrilled with the blue, but it was it was what they could afford to put on it. And they had to put something on it. So mm -hmm. that that comforts me so much because we are really <laughs> not attached to it. <laughs> so on the back side of it um, and talking to the play to garden club, Mary Beth. Um, we had talked before about some kind of mural, some kind of artwork going in back there that would respect the the memorial aspects of of the park because it is the Star Memorial Garden, um, but then also make it a, like I said a destination for people to visit when they come downtown. And how do you do that without you know um, expressing the garden and the building and making it a full like project, a whole. Um, what is that called? Integrated mm -hmm. presentation, as opposed to there's the Firehouse Museum and also the Star Memorial Garden. It's <laughs> a destination. And I love those sunflowers. They're sunflowers, right? They're not like a Susan's. But they're not they're sunflowers. Not yet. It's, um, yeah, that was. You got so it. they're sunflowers? Uh, it, it'll have. We're hoping to have at least one sunflower. We t uh, we met with uh, Mary Beth the other day. That and the oh okay the um yeah the I, I believe it was a member or the president. Somebody um <laughs> has recently passed in the in the garden club and um they had requested a, a sunflower at oh. least. So um, oh okay. I think a whole it, whole native flower garden painted on there would be amazing. And I don't know how you don't have black eyed Susan. Yeah. Literally this this concept just came up on yesterday. When or Wednesday, I think Wednesday. it was. That's right. Okay. So it can, you know, that's going to be a work in progress as to how the mural works out. But of course I think that looks fantastic. But I can see a whole garden of native plants as well. Oh, there. So you know yeah, it could be just a, give you all the concept of an idea of what's going on going on here. So. Right, and it ties into everything yeah. John is doing as far as native plantings and pollinators. And, and mm -hmm. one day we'll, we'll be a bee city as well. Um, but Bird City, Maryland is also hardcore on the uh, the native plantings and promoting the arts in the downtown and incorporating historic buildings into the, the living landscape that is downtown. So, so this this isn't um, proposed to to get um, like full approval, and this is the final design and kind of a a mock up a mm -hmm. mock up of what could be done. I like it, um, with the exception of the you know the hoses and ladders. Um, mm -hmm. You know that's kind of a solid design uh, as far as you know the uh, mm -hmm. solid idea, anyways. Um, but yeah, just kind of to get a, a visual of what could happen mm -hmm. back there. I think it's wonderful. I mean, you know, yeah. It's a work in progress, and I think it's exciting, you know, to see something's yeah. going to happen there. Yeah. So I kind of I do wonder about. There's been talk about installing some kind of a handicap access or some kind of second floor access. I don't know if that's going to ever happen, but if it does, I wonder if it would not obscure the you know, it likely place would be where the where that giant sunflower is if it would obscure that well the sun the giant sunflower is right behind an oil tank that is still in use and that's behind a, a fence which i would love to see go away um well, so it, we would have to go <laughs> yeah um, we'd have to figure out how to heat the place and that would come before i mean sequentially yeah it'd be hard um, well, I mean, it'd just it would just be awful to go through all the trouble of putting that up there and then having it covered up by some kind of a structure that is necessary to open the building. If if, if, if we go that way, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe if it's really... enclosed or something, you paint the outside of the enclosure. And maybe I'm that's sure. yeah. the time you raise the money to do that project. The mural will be ready to be repainted. Well, that's the other <laughs> issue on that task is, is maintenance of the murals, and you know, it's not mm -hmm. like you can just go out and repaint. You know. You have to get someone to come in and do the artwork again. So is that going to ever be a problem if, you know, 20 years from now, 
Oh, for sure. Somebody wants to 20 years from yeah, repaint sure. it. Um, no, that's a regular part of when we send out a um, request for proposals mm -hmm. is including a maintenance plan for whatever period we want it to be. Mm -hmm. For the Charles, for example, was was it two years? Mm -hmm. Two years that the artist is required to come back and, and maintain it and repaint it as needed. And I'm surprised it hasn't been tagged yet. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, but the, the paint won't last forever and mm -hmm. the, the building itself is going to need to be repainted at some point. So. I am guessing it was 25 years ago, if it was 25 to 30 years ago that that was painted, that shade of, you call it blue, I call it green, yeah. but it's it's been a very long time ago. Whatever yeah. color it is, it's yeah. important. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this so. is kind of just to kickstart, you mm -hmm. know, with the, the town and Kelly did get designated to, to use this money on the museum um, and that we kind of were hoping this would be a kickstart to win the historical um group was ready to you know put their efforts there that that was kind of um you know a work in progress of mm -hmm. what you know just to get it kick started and not impede in anything that you guys would possibly do well please keep us updated as you make progress with the town and the council on it because uh i don't know how the rest of the commission feels but i i think it's a marvelous idea myself and uh in concept, I'm on board. I the only other question I have because I've both daughter or my eldest daughter went through the Maryland Fire and Rescue Institute program, so I've gotten a crash course on the feelings of firemen, which are <laughs> kind of unique. Has anybody checked with the firemen to see how they feel about the the building being changed? So that actually was one of my questions: was how engaged is the Southern Maryland Fire Volunteer Firefighters Association. I know they were supposed to be managing the museum, but their nonprofit has gone defunct. There was some kind of tension there that I never fully understood about what became, how that nonprofit came about and what the plans were to turn it into a museum. And so I, I, I never really got the gist of, I, I think Bill Eckman probably could tell you, but um, I, I never really yeah. understood what the tension was. Yeah, Bill, Bill put that together and it was 501c3. And the intention was that all the fire departments of Charles County would come together and support this building, but it just didn't happen. In the meantime, the uh, whole 501c3 has uh, dissipated, correct? It's, it's and I don't even think Bill realizes that that doesn't exist anymore. But I mean, you have to put your paperwork in on that every so many years to keep it going. And it, it hasn't been. So, yes, I think it would be nice for someone to approach the fire department uh, about it. I don't know that it should come from historic preservation. It should probably come from somebody within the town yeah, sure. I can reach to, to reach out to the firemen at one of their general meetings. Mm -hmm. So it could be made a matter of record how they feel about it. You two do know you do know the story about the rescue squad and the fire department and the fire, and then the the wall was put up or the door was. Oh put yeah, up. I, I told him about that. You two know that story. I told him about it the so, other day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, anyway, just please keep us abreast of what's going on. I mean, okay. we're very interested in supporting this this project i know the town's anxious to get something going with the fireman's museum so you know well, however however we get that kick started yeah yeah well you got the money yes <laughs> you're in control that's a good start that's a very good start <laughs> yeah okay. there were some hiccups with uh, painting over the the mural on the charles so i'm not um you know i'm not totally fine with reaching out to whomever to make sure it's yeah. okay and you know everyone's happy yeah i just want i we wouldn't want it to be a surprise to the firemen right. you know sure. and the reason stuart the building still is kept uh heated is because of the uh 1929 sea grave in there that i don't know that they're ever going to move it oh i just saw it on the road the other day not too long ago oh, but i mean i don't think they're going to take it up onto Washington Avenue. Oh, no. I, th I think they intend to keep it maintained where it is. I would hope, actually, because it's kind of a nice part. If that museum gets going again, that's mm -hmm. certainly a main attraction for it. Yeah. So it's working? Uh, it was. It drove past me in Washington Avenue. And we're pushing it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, uh, we had the zip here. It wasn't working. So. Uh, this was probably three weeks ago. We have lost three firemen here in the past about two months. So it could have been part of a um, funeral procession or something, one of the older firemen. 
Okay. I have and, just one mm -hmm. quick question. Sure. Going back to the road thing. Mm -hmm. First of all, it's a great idea. Low risk, put it in the alley, see what happens. Um, what's the intent? Would, if you put it out on like main roads or, or elsewhere, we do this. How long will it last on a road, do you think? That's what we're testing. That's what you're testing, but it's what's your, your target, if you will? Well, there's... Uh, no, go ahead. Uh, there's um, the first, like part of the research that I did uh, involved uh, reaching out to Salisbury, um, or Salisbury. Uh, they have like a, a rainbow, um, rainbow something, and they they repaint it every year. Um, and he said it wasn't so much that it needed it every year, but it kind of becomes a community event. Oh. So um, anything we do would kind of be big, bold designs and um like with most of the sculptures around town or you know murals around town, I don't think that we're, we anybody really has the intent for them to stay for forever. Like we kind of want to have a new fresh. Yeah, uh, I just didn't know what your what mm -hmm. the cycle time yeah, might be. Yeah, year two would be. I mean, personally, would be happy and you know change oh. it up. Um, we don't have the, um, the the power, the jurisdiction to do any county roads. It would just be town owned roads. Perfect. So we're shooting for. Um, if this works out well to do like St. Mary's Centennial um, LaGrange. Great. And that's already been before the council and they're on board with the concept. That's a great idea. Just it's finding nice. places to do it. So like Councilman Jenkins sat down with us and we talked about doing some traffic calming because it ties into everything. Mm -hmm. Some traffic calming in uh, Clark's Run, possibly near Redwood Lake because they've had some traffic problems there and a nice way to kind of decorate the neighborhood, but also make it useful and functional would be used as a traffic calming measure. So awesome. that's a possibility. Okay, thank you. Um, if I'm before you have to leave, if I may jump over here to Stuart uh, with regard to the lettering on the caboose. You and I have talked about that. Uh, it came up at one of the meetings for discussion. I don't know if you've looked into that. Shannon was over to the caboose with me the other day and we were looking at the interior and the exterior and our ideas and things were flowing, but I didn't know where you were on that. If it was something we might want to ask Shannon to look into or if you want to work on it or what would you, what's your um, pleasure? I, as far as getting anything done on that project, I, I've worked on restoring the photo and I've gotten most of the photo, I've gotten the photo restoration done. I haven't done the, um, the letter. But that's for the interior. Yeah, that yeah. was for the yeah. interior. For the exterior, um, I mean, I'm not, I don't have any giant preference. I thought it would be nice to have the the original Navy lettering restored to the outside of it, but we really haven't gone in a direction of a particular restoration theme on that caboose. Mm -hmm. I mean, the outside is red and that wasn't the right color for it. The inside is navy gray, which I'm sure was not the original color for the caboose when it was made. And, mm -hmm. and so we really can kind of go whatever direction we want to go in it. And So a mural is not out of the question. It wouldn't be, but I don't know if the train purists would appreciate a mural on it. Well, they, if red wasn't the real color, then we're not really attached to it. You, you, can, you can hang on to a, a, I mean, people understand a red caboose, sure. but I don't know if they understand a, a painted caboose. Mm -hmm. Uh, a mural painted caboose, but I mean, I'm I don't think there's a a great issue one way or the other as far as the the historical accuracy of it because we're not really going in that direction. Mm -hmm. I think interior wise, we were going to sort of push for a, a mid 1940s yeah. look, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know about the rest of it on the outside. I mean, that one of the town staff had suggested that it be the town seal with just the word, so the plate of Maryland underneath of it. Mm -hmm. Which is, what, I don't know. That's a decal or something, right? Yeah. Or, like a steam engine just coming out at you. On the caboose? Through the caboose? No, on the exterior. <laughs> on, the, on the exterior? You'd want to paint that on the exterior of the caboose? Well, I don't know. I'm just asking. <laughs> That's why we're a committee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't strike you Just guys. Okay. I'm thinking it. I'm thinking it. I'm trying to get done. Trying. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we paint our parking area and put a mural there. Mm -hmm. That way people won't know that, uh, people won't be able to say that they thought the parking was for the mm -hmm. other area. <laughs> They'll know it's ours. <laughs> well, would we like to, would we like to ask uh, Shannon to maybe come back with something for us to look at? Or do you want to take that on? And I, I'm, I don't need to take it on. <laughs> <laughs> if you do 
have pictures of what that outside looked like. I can make out some of the lettering that was painted over or the numbers. Um, I have I have the all. photo. It's a little bit fuzzy, but I think we can make the lettering out on it. Okay. Okay. Uh, for just I mean, it's just it's just a Navy serial number on it. Mm -hmm. but. Which is not I don't know that's going to mean anything to anybody unless we put something on there that said it came from the town of Indian Head in OS. You know, no, we have the plaque inside. The we have all that information just inside. I just was kind of thinking something on the exterior that would kind of wow you when you walked up to it. But I don't know. I I mean, it's hard. I, I really don't know how people would, would accept it. I, I train, train people are a little bit like the firemen. You know, you just never know how they're going to feel about something well, like that. I would suspect <laughs> that purists like it at all. Yeah, I, I would think they wouldn't uh, either. But on the other hand, how many are there? Purists, unfortunately, yeah. So uh, on the other hand, we're not being purist in our approach, as you pointed out. We're trying to be capture the era, but we're certainly not being historically correct. Can you turn on your microphone? So I thought I did. Off? Sorry. You're saying great things. I just want to be. <laughs> what color should the outline be? It, well, it was, it was navy caboose, so I think it was navy gray. Oh, well, it, it, but the photographs show a kind of like almost like a yellow yellow green color. Oh, could have been yeah, yellow that right. the, the 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 settings on the camera were so messed up that it was so washed out that you really can't trust the colors when i tried my best to rebalance it and restore it it came back as a as a kind of a, a yellowy cream color hmm. that had been painted but when you look at the town notes it shows it as a red caboose i mean People have known it as a red caboose yeah, now, I guess, for, for 20 years. As long as it's been here, it's been yeah. red. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the... So... And I don't think a red caboose ever went down our tracks <laughs> <laughs> the entire time we had the train. <laughs> Fair enough, so... Yeah. I so I don't know where that leaves us. <laughs> I think, well, I think we need to make a decision. I, I'd for love to Donnie, see... Donnie, for one thing, he's... Yeah. You know, oh, for the, well... Well, Donnie has been, you know... He's paying for us to decide what we're going to do. I, you know, Don can wait. Don's got plenty of other jobs. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. But yeah, but don't don't rush it because Donnie wants to get something done. This is your baby. This is your project. So. I, my, my only interest in seeing it get done fast would be that uh, we have we can make sure that it's all sealed up and we don't have any more leaks while we're painting and doing the outside. But uh, because uh, we're getting some wood rot and things still like up in the cupola and then other areas. So uh, that would be a good idea to get it done. But uh, so good only, with the red. Sorry. Yeah, I'm only seeing the numbers USN. I can't. <laughs> yeah. Don't you hate oh, on your age? It, but it was, just, it, was a, it was just a serial. Mm -hmm. I mean, 63 00214. I'm not seeing anything else on the side. There was actually, when they first painted it red, there were these two. Uh, I guess there were like plaques or stickers or something right. that had a bunch of information on it that I know Art was very upset that they got painted over. He the Boy Scouts. Yeah, the Boy Scouts painted, painted over. Painted over. Mm -hmm. He was upset about that. And the earliest photos, when you look at it, while it's being set on the on the uh, the crane is actually setting it down. You can actually see those two areas. They almost look like windows out of place, hmm. but you can't make out what they say or what they are. I know Art's Art's heart was he would like to see the serial number put back and everything like it was, but we've crossed that bridge a long time ago. We, you know, if, if it was up to me, I'd probably put the serial number in, and do the the town seal. Yeah, and, that's what I like too. Yeah, I still yeah. like that. How okay, can we do that? If we're going to do something more bold, bolder, maybe we a little mock-up like you did with the building mm -hmm. and, and we can oh, look at a picture yeah, yeah. Okay. but well maybe you know if if i get inspired you know just throw something on there and if, it's all if, i would imagine that whatever we yeah. do if you have a solid undercoat that's that's good and solid and clean then putting a mural on top of it will be easier anyway so mm -hmm. probably need to do the red paint or whatever we're going to do and then Come back. It's been red. The paint has been. Well, if it's a, if it's a, if it's, it if it's a great. seal and the town if it's a town seal and the serial number that really doesn't yeah. constitute a mural. Mur no. no. But um, what about the uh, what about the other uh, the thing that you drew that the police have for their badges with the caboose on it? The police logo. The yeah, that no, that thing that we 
It's the uh, it's the, the train station we... with the train coming down the tracks. So, right, yeah. right. What about that? It's 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 on the it's on the town news and notes front of the news and notes. No, it's, well, it's on the uh, it's on the police cars. It's the police. Stewart, do, Stewart, it's did it. Girl it. Girl Okay, it's not this. Okay, it's something um, different. It, there's variations okay. of it actually because I kept throwing the same thing over again and just changing it. Over no, it's a, <laughs> yeah, well, it's a, it's in the middle. Yeah, see, it's in the middle of this. You do you all know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's just a line drawing. Though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's and it's actually was designed to be very small, and so it would have. But to I've been trying to get him to make it larger. It's yeah, that yeah. in the middle there. It's mm -hmm. Stuart. Get all it's the perspective on. straight on it and fix it. <laughs> And it's um, it's on um, it's on their badge, the police, mm -hmm. and on their patches. Yeah, patches. yeah, on their patches and everything. Yeah, we see that, Craig. Okay, we're going to have to move forward because we only have twenty five minutes left. <laughs> so uh, thank you all for your time. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah thanks, Anna. Yeah. But that's attractive too. So if you'll just get back to us with your convenience, I know you've yeah, got a light on your plate right now. Yeah. So. We never really introduced Shannon and her previous employment. She was telling me you worked for the Discovery Channel and did exhibits and all kinds of good things. So, she, so she's got some experience behind her there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you guys. For oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Kel. Oh. All right. You're not leaving, Kelly, right? Are you leaving? I wasn't today. Who's that? Who's that, right? I wanted to ask about the Christmas lights. Okay, I've got a handle on that. Yeah, you've got a handle. I've, I've got, got I've got a handle okay. on that to report. Okay, well, well, while well, <laughs> while Stuart's here too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll just keep scooting around to cover okay. things here. Okay. On the Christmas decorations, I've talked with uh, Michelle. Okay. She and I are going to get together uh, probably next week because she says it's time to think about ordering that and determining exactly you know what we want on the um, as far as Christmas decorations go. Which was going to take you off the hook, unless we did something on the interior, well, which Patty was interested in. Yeah, I was interested but, in Stuart's, but but the mayor told me that something had been ordered. Did Michelle say anything about that? That something had been ordered, like the lighted things that they added to the Christmas tree. This this would be separate from the order with the with the company. No, yes, she, there there is another display that's going in the up Christmas there. tree. Yep. There, so there's a and, giant Christmas and then, tree, and then they had, they had the reindeer that you mm -hmm. could take pictures in. Well, the mayor told me that they had ordered one of those things for the for the train station. Do you oh, know okay. anything about it? No, that's yeah, Colleen and Michelle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's well. What anyway, I'm going to meet with her next week. And okay, well, ask her about the, that because okay. that would go. Okay. That would be part of. Okay. 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 I don't know if anybody has any strong feelings about what the decorations look like. I mean, hopefully we can put the big wreaths back up and get new red ribbons instead of orange ribbons on them. And hopefully we could have lighted garland, you know, going around the deck. Because uh, that would, the garland would have some daytime appeal. Plus, I'd love to see the caboose just totally outlined in lights. But I'd like to see it outlined. Yeah, I mean, I I liked it when it when I got them back inside the the little porch like areas on either end. I think that added a lot of depth to it, mm -hmm. and I like that it was all the way outlined. It was just a bear trying to get them up there. So I'm all in favor of anybody else doing it. <laughs> oh yeah, well it'd be professionally done, just like this tree is put up out here, and the lighting that goes around the columns here, and everything. So you know, but I would like to see it outlined all the way, and not yes, just. just I would like, too. In yeah. a simplistic Outlines and windows outline everything. <laughs> so anyway, I'll get together with Michelle on that next week. Okay. Well, the the other thing was the inside. Are you up to doing like like those Christmas cards again and that stuff? You know the Christmas cards. Oh yeah, yeah. All that right. we had. Can you put? He had. Do you remember the the year that we had the Painter family trains? We had the. Stewart had Christmas tree. Christmas cards or Christmas letters that had been written to the town and they were familiar names. They were letters to um, uh, the Maryland Independent, I think, from, they used to publish them in the paper back in the early 1900s. And he enlarged them and he had them sitting on easels. It was it was really neat. Nice. Yeah, and no, lights and 
We had the zigzaggy lights and we, we had, had the lights up in the ceiling. I mean, are you up to doing any of that this that's, year? Uh, the lights across the ceiling were actually pretty easy. So that, that's not. Let's see. The only time we're open in December, I believe, I don't have it in front of me, is December 6th, I believe. That's our last opening date. We'll be open on the um, sm shop small Christmas, shop small right after Thanksgiving. And then the following Sunday is December 6th. So if we're going to display these, we would want to display them, you know, prior to this. It all needs closing. to be put up before. Mm -hmm. Actually, before Thanksgiving. Yeah. You know, because that yeah. Saturday is, yeah. Shop Small is the Saturday after Thanksgiving. So everything has to go up. In, and the stuff is up at the town, except the Christmas tree lighting is not until December 6th. Mm -hmm. Right? But everything else. All those posters and everything. Um, we st I still have the the computer versions of them. The printed versions of them are probably I mean, they're still in there somewhere. I think they're stored. They might even be stored in in, in one of the seats underneath the seats in the caboose. Yeah. where they may be behind the, the um, train station. There's a big flat piece of cardboard that I think I, I might have put some things in there and just stuck them. Behind the, Are uh, you up to doing something like that and putting a tree? I mean, Bob and I were talking okay. about it. We're going to have you know. to keep moving forward. If we've only, well, I know, but I, yeah. I just want to get that before he looks. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, we, we can discuss it, but I would suggest that everything be up by November 15th, maybe. Okay. Have a good yeah. pick a date. The December opening is on December 4th, by the way. December 4th. It's a Sunday. Okay. Okay. Or it could even be November 20th, just up before we have the, the two events. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, the suggestion, I think that came from, I don't know if that came from you, Rich, or came from Bob Curran about getting in touch with the Smithsonian regarding um, exhibits for the caboose. I think Bob Curran Bob, mentioned that. That yeah. is an extremely, extremely long, complicated <laughs> process. I can tell you exactly where to go to get to where you need to be. But I mean, getting a loan from the Smithsonian, I think is just above and beyond what we need to do for the caboose. I can give this information to anyone who would like to pursue it to see if they think there's something of value there. But I think what we need to do on the interior, we can probably do ourselves. Sounds like it. I mean, it's, it seems like where we're going if we're looking for it to be a like a vignette, a, just a moment of a day in the life of a Fire, yeah. Cruise. So yeah. we would get probably have to eBay these things and or antique show these things. Yeah. And just pick out items that would be period appropriate and put yeah. them in there. Because this is very complicated and requires a tremendous amount of documentation. I was hoping that they might have something that was Pope's Creek line specific, but mm -hmm. if that's not the case, or if it's too complicated, then it's, yeah, I, they might have it, but it would be terribly complicated to get it. The security aspect of it too, I think, is is an issue. Yeah, I know they need to have them secured, and they need to know that they're secured, and they actually send people down periodically to make sure they're secured. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, that's the status of that issue. Now, improvements to the t sound system. Well, let, let me back up a little bit on blinds for the, the building. Okay, you know, after putting up all this film that was to um, darken, the, yeah. darken the room, it darken the room, but it sure looks ugly. It's appealing <laughs> still. It's not peeling. It just doesn't look it's, it's, professional. It's, it's not pretty. Yeah, it's not pretty. I have spoken with a fellow by, that has a company called JR Blinds, and he came over to the caboose this past week and looked at things and did some measuring, and I asked him to get back to me with some pricing for possibly blinds like we have in the museum building itself. And uh, he has not given gotten back to me with a price on that yet. So I guess we will have to hold that for the uh, when we meet in January. But uh, we'll get a price, and unless somebody has another 
suggestion they'd like to make of how to. And this would cover all the windows and the cupola windows as well. Up in the cupola, he doesn't want to put blinds in there because the wood is original up in there, but he does have another uh, thing he'd like to try that's, um, he's not putting screws into the wood. It, it adheres along the well, that, border. That's where some of the dry rot is anyway. So yeah. that's probably wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so okay. With, you're saying blinds, but you 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 mean those shades, green, green shades, 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 like the old fashioned yeah, green shades, shades with yeah. the that are already there. I don't know what y'all think that of that, but it then the, the see the problem is if if we don't darken the room, then when when, when the sound system is working, the spotlights yeah, that are highlighting the refrigerator or the table or the sink. You can't see it because there's too much light in there. I have yeah, Dave washes it out. I, I have to admit that yeah, you know, I was in there the other day and, and, and yeah, sorry. I, I have to admit I was in there the other day and I, I ran it and it even darkened with the shading. The the lights aren't very focused. And I don't know if there's better lights that we can get, but I'm gonna look into that. But in the meantime, it does have to be darker. And uh, uh, and even not that, but with the uh, if it's darker, then you get a better effect out of the lights that are there's the um, old fashioned lights that are running down the center mm -hmm. of the car and, I love and all that stuff. Uh, so uh, I, I think the shades would look nice myself. Mm -hmm. uh, it, what we tried to do was a little bit on the cheap. Didn't work out so didn't good. Didn't work but, out so good. <laughs> but um, you get what you pay for. Uh, but I think the shades would be very nice if it's affordable. OK, yeah. well, we'll table that till the January meeting, see where we want to go with it. OK. And in the meantime, on the sound system. Yes. So. Um, what do we want to do with that? I mean, it's it's a okay. wonderful piece of history, but we've got to get this thing down to three minutes, and we've got. To I didn't know that there was a three minute three well, minutes. Well, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't uh, say three minutes. It could be five minutes. It we, needs to be shorter. No we doubt. just all and, agree. And, it's too uh, long. Uh, what I was going to do, I liked your suggestion. Um, first of all, the mayor's speech. There's a lot of stuff he says that's repeated later. We can take all yeah. that out. Mayor Ackman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it just gets to the focus on how did the car get here. Mm -hmm. That's what I asked them to cover, and that's what we'll we'll do. That's just a quick edit. Um, but I did talk to someone about redoing the the rest of the talk to make it more animated and right. maybe more interesting, and and maybe for the kids more interesting. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, my daughter was uh, talked to her about doing it, frankly. Um, but uh, yeah, she works at Avian too, and they can work a sound thing. So I'm going to try to target a redo of that. Great. For the uh, we're going to be open in October when? So the first October. October uh, let's see, October so next 29th, one. 29th. 29th. Yeah, I was going to look at the so. target to be ready for that and okay. um, uh, have something there. Okay. And if you don't like it, it's not hard to redo again. But I agree with you that, that, Is that right? it's yeah. too long. But it, it doesn't matter. I'm saying five minutes. I don't Perfect. know what a person's normal span is where they, where they would stand there. No, can it, can it be those? broken into smaller segments, like like different stations instead of just the one station that so the it's, whole it's, thing off? Um, yeah, we, well, we could, like if you want to put a switch by different items and push yeah. a button and get a quick, you could do that. Um, yeah, we could do that. It's just not set up that way right now, but we, we could just that, that might take some of the pressure off trying to cut everything down. But I think it's it is way too long. Um, uh, so I think we could make it a lot shorter. Five minutes. I don't know. We'll see. Five minutes. Five, whatever y'all think. I think it's it's right now is about thirteen. I think it's way too long. <laughs> it is too long. I would yeah. agree. Five sounds sounds really good. good. Okay. <laughs> should we okay. also? Should so you'll we be working on painting the ice box. So, didn't they just repaint? They repainted. Did it. they paint the whole thing? Did they paint that? Did they? Paint it's all gray. gray. I don't it's think they gray. painted oh. the interior of it, but they oh, painted the, the exterior. exterior. Oh, I didn't realize they painted it gray. I did, I'm still picturing yeah. the uh, the broken paint that was on there before. Yeah, no, they <laughs> they they did repaint it. Okay. Um, but okay, I I keep letting my mind go too far. I guess to to. Uh, Huh? You let your imagination run away? Yeah, it's running away with me uh, because nobody knows what that box is. But we have the light that comes down on it that says it's a ice box. But we talked about unless we open it up yeah. and put a display yeah. in it, that doesn't do any good. Phony stuff. But again, Phony could, could you have um, 
mural on the outside of it that shows a Coke bottle and stuff from yeah, once 1943 and once more, a slab of cheese. He brought up all of that. You could put we could put a fake block of ice in there. Yeah, I would just and stuff like Coke bottles and stuff. He mm -hmm. also has a lunchbox, an old black lunchbox mm -hmm. that he would donate. And he was talking about a coal, a coal carrier, a coal, box, a coal yeah. box that you can we can pick up coal still along the railroad track in places. I, Art had a bunch of it, but we only have a few pieces there. But to have the old the old coal bucket there, too. Um... But Donnie was saying uh, he has access to one of those and and the lunch box that he would donate. So, okay, good. Whatever happened it. to the phone booth? Are we have we given up on the? Phone I've never heard any more on the phone booth. Oh, we yeah. haven't torn that house down yet, so I guess the phone booth's still in the basement of it. Well, would, it, would we be able to do that, still get access to that anymore, or is that kind of out of our reach? Oh, no. I, I would think that where we, if we if we get it, where are we going to put it? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Pretty. Just you hate to lose it, you know? You hate, hate to, lose, to lose, it, lose it, but maybe they have a building in the town they could store it till someday. Well, they took it. They took everything out of the house and shipped it out there. She wanted everything. I mean, like, it cost $10,000 to ship that, <laughs> to ship all of her stuff out of there. Right. So and... I don't know what happened to the phone booth. I don't think they shipped the phone booth. Yeah, the phone booth down. was in the basement of the building. I'll, I'll make a note and see if it's still there. But, I, uh, you know, unless the town can, yeah. can store it somewhere, we sure can't get it in the train station. How about the uh, storage place that used to be the rescue squad off the end of the firehouse? With, with the okay, there. what are they doing with that? It is currently full of junk. It's still it's full of junk. There are some tables in there that <laughs> yeah, are it's this, less it's, junk. It was the same junk that was there it's six the months junk. ago. The same yes. level of junk. Yeah, there's yeah. a piano in there. There is a piano in there. <laughs> Who's junk? Um, the some of it's a ladies' auxiliary. We know that. Yeah. Fire yeah. department yeah. lady auxiliary. Coffee pots and stuff like that. Lots there's an old microwave. It's a couple of panels that might be historic or might just be junk. And when last I talked to the little Plata uh, fire department, I... Uh, we were looking at it as a possible um, backup storage for uh, a place that may have been flooded um, with the carousel group. Mm -hmm. And uh, the fire department said, well, we can clean all this out. That was, what, four months ago? Oh, at least. <laughs> Springtime. Yeah, just got to remind them. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, the carousel, I understand, is going to Indian Head. So I guess we've lost that oh. other bonus. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You snooze, you lose, you know? <laughs> yeah. And we've been snoozing a long time. Okay, matters of information. Um, bronze plaque. We do the bronze plaque for the Episcopal Church is here. It's currently stored in Kelly and Craig's office. And I'm still, uh, as of last week, Bonnie Rafer was, they were still coming up with that, how they would like to have it installed. They were going to go with... Um, um, piece of granite at one point. They're not doing that. Now she's looking into a stone. The town will make a base for it just like they did for out here at the tornado bronze plot if that's what they want, but we haven't gotten that far with them yet. She's still doing her thing, so I'm not going to make any waves there. Uh, regarding the old jail building, I got the process for <clears throat> working through that, and according to Kathleen C., who we met at our June meeting, she's with Historic Preservation for the county, and um, she has told me that the proper channel would be to first send um, the request through her office, and then that would get passed on to the county administrator to decide whether he could make a decision or if it'd have to go before the Charles County Commissioners for review. Uh, so if we wish to proceed, with asking to place a plaque on the old jail, we would need to draft up an official scope of work slash proposal. This would need to include any relevant information, such as a picture, example, material, context, size, mounting type, if and if we would be funding the plaque. So there's work to be done there. And again, when I meet with Michelle about the Christmas decorations, I'm going to see if she can help to put a proposal together because I do not personally know the proper manner in which to do that. That would be acceptable from the town to the county. 
unless that is your domain. Everything is conceivably in our domain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we are your first contact here in the town. So if you are more comfortable working with Michelle on that, that's fine. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. I'm I'm comfortable with working with whoever you say. Oh, we, we spend that's your, okay. every day figuring out how to do the next thing, so. Okay, well, then we'll get together soon about that because again, it's going to be a long process. So we'll make a date. It involves government. It's a long process. Yeah. So we'll as make we've discovered with the Smithsonian. Yes, it can't be as bad as the Smithsonian. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're federal. They're better at it. Yeah, they're better at it. <laughs> okay. Well, all. then we will get together. I'll make a date with you, or somebody else want to work on that project. Usually, it's Jane Hobbs and I that you know sort of working on plaques. But if somebody else wants it, okay. You got it. <laughs> Okay, uh, the, let's see, under old business, the AC did get installed. Yay. It was taken out of 208 Washington Avenue and put in the, uh, oh, the caboose, car. so I think that's fine. Oh, that's why, that, that's why see, that's why repurposing. On Earth, we can't have the phone booth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's I not that we can't them. have it. We, they, they've just never come back to us requesting, did we want it? But well, I don't, Yeah, but they, they were questioning whether we could go in since it's in the county's domain. I, you know, to my knowledge, the air conditioner out. To my knowledge, Donnie is still going into those buildings. Oh, yeah. I, I'm sure we can. Okay. Okay, does anybody have any new business they would like to bring up? Or... Any other discussions then? Tony, did you have anything particularly you wanted to bring before the commission? No, I, if anybody's ever been to Frederick, Maryland, I love what they did as far as the uh, historical cities and sidewalks and all that. You know, you know, that uh, what was that? Uh, yeah, that's something that, you know, I like to see in uh, La Plata, you know, having uh, engraved in sidewalks, the historical, like, like the Christ Church, you know, what uh, mm -hmm. relevance that had and all that, because then they have the course of markers for the, the fire, the uh, uh, railroad station, things like that. So that's, a, and I, I do know quite a few people in Frederick, because I was doing something in uh, concerning the railroad station. So if, any, if you need a contact for people who actually were involved in doing all the, uh, inlays and the plaques and all that around the town uh have a good contact for someone like that if you want to see what they did and how they raised the money and the procedure okay it, it'd be great i know it's costing a lot of money it'd be great to have some kind of a mannequin a conductor mannequin in the caboose we, talked about we have talked especially one that was animated where they could i mean that would drive the kids crazy we have beat that up several times. I've never been able to come up with a mannequin for this conductor's uniform. We have oh, yeah, originally, yeah, originally the uniform of the conductor that came with the caboose from Indian Head. Oh. But I've never been able to come up with a mannequin. I mean, I know you can order mannequins, but then how do you know this all fits together? I don't know that. Um, yeah, an animated thing would be wonderful. From a financial standpoint, I doubt that fits in our budget at this time. But that's not that's not to say next year we can't increase our budget if we need. To. We could always dress up Stewart as a conductor. Yeah, and yeah. Just tell us to be in there. For now, I was actually thinking of having just the uniform right. displayed along with you know the um, poster that you were making. Yes. I thought as you went in on the left, we could hang it there and the poster. And I'd even thought that we should make, perhaps take the conductor's hat that is now in the museum building and put it into the caboose. What do you uh, think? It, that's fine, except I worry about that hat, the state of preservation it's in. It's going to need climate control on a continuous basis, I think. Um, it's probably not getting the preservation it needs now, but if it's exposed to that super hot super cold all the time it's not going to help it okay so leave it where it is or get one like it <laughs> <laughs> find another one online if you can or a replica okay well, the parts of the AC, by the way 
it when we were open the other day. So in the morning, I think Bob looked at it and said, that's cool in here, we're good. Plus, the heat builds up quick. Yeah. And the air conditioner can't catch up. So when we open, I think you turn it on. Uh, the, I will tell you that having worked in there while the AC was on, it doesn't cool down in a couple. Mm -hmm. the, the heat gets stuck up there and there's no way it's not there's no way to move that air down um so anyway i would just with my list just to turn it on at the beginning of the day uh, but it works down below you can feel it it's nice mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. takes the edge off and it, well, it really does you mm -hmm. know when i was trying I'm to put up that, that it was reuse, yeah so. when i was trying to put that film on the windows i couldn't have done it without it i can tell you <laughs> <laughs> just to get the humidity out of there yeah. okay well i don't have anything else to, to bring up patty or do you have anything else or Good no, go. that was my main thing, and I didn't mean to, to interrupt, but I thought Stuart was going to leave <laughs> before we no, got no, to the Christmas I actually thing, should so. be leaving, but I'm, I'm, yep. anyway, no, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Take my lumps when I get there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if we have nothing else, anyone want to uh, we'll close the meeting? All right, motion we adjourn. Okay. So. <laughs> the meeting is adjourned. How was that for email just that you okay? Sorry, I didn't my red pen. Red's a terrible color for you know what I mean? It's all right. It's basically my name. Okay. All right. I think I'm I think that one went through. I mean I I didn't get a I didn't get a message saying uh, in Bell and all that I'm stuff. I'm still having yeah. bizarre issues that I think.